Hello! It's me, LH Music. I'm at Pepper Jacks right now, but who knows who it's realized. But here's the thing that we can, we gotta continue with this Facebook Live thing, all this crap. Because as I said on my political life video blog, there is, you know, all the violence, all the rhetoric at a time like this when a gunman do some very stupid on on uh, Muslim um, Muslim looting killer broadcasting yeah massacres of 49 people who are dead on Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff and you might think you're so smart about you guessed it AOC as yeah mocking those thoughts and prayers as far as we're concerned AOC hey, did you read the Bible you didn't because on this on this uh, you guessed it, my religious life video blog, it's called The Limit Over Jer Jerusalem. And here's the thing for you, AOC, see, yeah, known as Andrea, Alexandria, okay, Joe Cortez. You know what I'm saying, uh, saying, she tried to, you know, mocking prayers at a time like this, this is so dumb and stupid. Uh, uh, stupid. Everything else can be civilized and it kills 49 people. But what if I told you that the Gospel of Luke chapter 13 for the second Sunday of, you guessed it, Lent has some, di has some different standards about this because the lem limit over Jerusalem is, yeah, it's very important. You need to learn this, AOC. You need to learn. Here it is, verse 30, 31 of Luke chapter 13, verses 31 through 35. It says, At that very hour, some Pharisees came and said to him, Get away from here, for Herod wants to kill you. He, and he said to them, Go and tell that fox for me. Listen. I mean, listen. I, I am cast, casting out demons and perform performing cures today and tomorrow and on the third day I finished my work yet today tomorrow and the next day I must be on my way because it is possible for a prophet to be killed away from Jerusalem let me stop right here here's why because I heard Deacon Betsy has a wonderful sermon and she hits the nail on the head on yes on, on, on this topic of this of this sermon sermon topic topic thing about it talks about 49 people are killed in a in mosque and two mosque mosque buildings in uh, in New Zealand you know you get the Christ Church in New Zealand and give me one good reason why, because you don't know the half of it, AOC. You know, and you know, and all that stuff, and you try to mock this Muslim woman for thoughts and prayers. That could be a, oh, so stupid. And you think it's so smart, and you said, pretty sure, sure, sure thoughts and prayers isn't anyone's, uh, here's a phrase for you. Deacon Betsy, I heard this at my church this morning at Resurrection at 30th of Belvedere. Because you don't know the, the, the you don't know what the reality is. Here's a reality about, about the way the way the system works. Because Jesus has warned Israel repeatedly of the old consequences of rejection. Now, with language reminiscing the Old Testament prophets, and he began a began to spell out of this whole results. Yes, that's right. The results of this nation's failure. Try to embrace it, and as the sand trickles down the hourglass, so is the days of our lives. I know that's a soap opera, opera on NBC. Yeah, right. Because here's a warning about Jesus. Because well-being prompts 
his expression and uh, you know of a concern of the, for this nation's warfare uh, well welfare and as it occurs the frequency of this journey words to address to Jesus leads to yes yeah, that's right to a challenge of population perceptions give me one good reason why that the warning is that yet yeah. Herod w wishes to kill Jesus. Uh, uh, uh. It's the same way as the gunman was to kill 40 pe 49 people in Christ Church, New Zealand. If you ask me, and he tried a videotaping, yeah, broadcasting, yeah, live stream like Facebook and Twitter and all that. And you think you have any suggestions, AOC? You, Alexandria Cortez, have anything else? Try to mocking prayers at a time like this. Lots of prayers at a time like this. Uh-uh, not anymore. For, no, 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 not anymore. I don't think so. You cannot do that. But here's the observation for you. It is debated where the warning is sincerely or a ruse to get Jesus out of the of the whole area. And and you know why? Nothing hence a ruse. And it regardless of what everybody thinks that Jesus does not fear Herod. And he tells the Pharisees to warn him, not to warn him to tell, tell that fox and drive demon drive out demons and heal people today and tomorrow. And on the third day, yes, I will reach my goal. By calling, well, you see, by calling Herod a fox, yes, a sly, sly fox inside, inside this foxhole, because Jesus may be saying either how clever Herod is, or is it the fox, yeah, blow, blowing his, uh, blow, blow, blowing the three little pigs' houses down. It sounds like a nursery rhyme. It sounds like a nursery rhyme, nursery rhyme to me, as far as we're concerned. But guess what? Here's the observation for you. Jesus may be saying now either how clever it is, the English idiom, or how destructive he is, more consistent, uh, uh, more consonant with ancient expression, and it contextually. And you know, an allusion to destructiveness is si slightly more likely. And Jesus, that's right, the fate uh, on the third day has nothing, well, guess what, has something to do with compelling his course with his death. And he has nothing to run to, <laughs> to run from it. Here's my observation for you because everybody knows that. Also, Rachel knows that every everyone knows that Jesus knows his fate and tries to you know the prophets to perish Jerusalem his ministry will continue that time and if the gospel were moving uh, gospel were a movie with music inside the background the beat and the mood will suggest time times quickly and faintly passing and Jesus knows the clock hands like like this one for the and I just saw this on the clock, clock right here at Pepper Jackson at, at um, inside the old market, which I never seen it before. And at, you know why the clock, and we're moving towards midnight and the bell tolls that he will be facing, facing his destiny. So here's my observation for you. Because the rest of it, uh, it will know that uh, on verse 34, 34 and 35 says, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills prophets and stones those who sit to it. And how often I desire to gather your children together as a hand gathers her brood under her wings and you were not willing see your house is left to you 
and I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, that's right, when you say, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. See how it simple was? It was. And I hope you're listening, AOC. Because as I said on my political life video blog just, just now, and I'll, I will blast, blast you in the face. I will blast you, AOC, in the face later on tonight on Sunday Night News on the Hallmark Channel. channel and, and so is my radio show on Monday on the Blaze Radio Network. And I'll give you give a recap on your face on my Political Life video blog. Now you and 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 see how you like it. You should go to church, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. You should. And give me one good reason why that you try to mock their thoughts and prayers inside church land, the church Christ Church in New Ze New Zealand and all other parts of the country. Uh, and, uh, and the world and all that there is nothing there is no one like our God as the song says as we, re we did rehearse this for Celebration Life Choirs one voice just one song because everything else can't be civilized and even though Jesus headed to death death when Good Friday comes or should we say Monday, Thursday or Good Friday comes guess what? When Easter comes yes, it will rise again and that is why the suffering has during this desolation until they say blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord and it recognizes it and that's why it's from, sent from God. And the blessing will return in the language. You know why the language of this whole statement. They will, you know who, that's right. Be sent. Uh, be, be statement. That, of course, according to Psalm 118, verse 26 says. Now, you know everybody else can be civilized about this one and that that's why worshiping an entourage as it yes approaches the temple probably led by the king and the Jewish people will acknowledge this because as you know it as you know it because you see all over the newspapers including the blaze.com and I, ju I, ju I just said this and I have no clue whatsoever and and the other thing is it kills 49 people and others wounded and I hate to break this to you but because everything else can be civilized because social media has provided a platform for this terrorism and all the violence. So let's cut this, cut to the chase. This whole charade of violence and terrorism has got to stop completely. As for you, AOC, you should be ashamed of yourself. Try to trash thoughts and prayers, prayers on these people. And there is no way in hell you cannot do that again, ever again. The moral of my Religious Life video blog story is this. Let's keep in touch with our prayers, thoughts and prayers to Christland New Zealand and other parts, parts of, uh, of, of, the U of USA and the world should stop this violence. Let's have peace in our time. As far as we're concerned. And get rid of this gunman. 
uh, put him to, in put put him in bars, put him in jail for killing him, killing all 49 people and others wounded at a time like this. Others, so it could be a massacre. But what about the liberal media by special people, people for food and smarts? Have you forgotten? I'll, I'll, I'll explain this. I'll explain this Tuesday on my political life video blog. You know why? Because this is what happens when you least expect it about the massacre and all that. And that will be, yeah, that's right. Trust me about that as well. Anything else that I should know about?